Quite often, we come across advertisements for skin care or body wash products. Some ads claim that their products have pH values similar to our skin. Indeed, if that is true, those products will be less irritating to our skin. But of course, sometimes we want to test whether these products are at the same pH values as claimed. There are different ways to find out the pH of a product. Acid-based indicators can indicate the rough pH range of a substance, rather than the exact pH value of it. More importantly, the color-changing nature of acid-based indicators allows visual observation of certain chemical reactions, particularly acid alkali titrations, which will be discussed in future chapters. Now, we're going to talk about some common acid-based indicators. There are many different types of acid-based indicators, with various indicating ranges. Three of the common ones in school laboratories are methyl orange, limits, and phenylphthalene. Methyl orange has a red color at pH below 3.1, orange color at pH between 3.1 and 4.4, and yellow color at pH above 4.4. Litmus has a red color with pH below 5, a purple color with pH between 5 and 8, and a blue color with pH above 8. Phenylphthalein is colorless with pH below 8.3. It turns pale pink between pH 8.3 and pH 10, and it turns pink with pH above 10. Considering the different indicators show different colors in different pH ranges, it is critical to choose the right indicator to distinguish between solutions with different pH values. For example, which indicator among those three will you use if you have to distinguish between distilled water and sodium hydroxide solution? As sodium hydroxide is a base, litmus may be a good choice. Litmus appears purple in distilled water, and turns blue as soon as the pH is above 8. Phenolphthalein will be the second choice, as you don't know how dilute and thereby how alkaline the sodium hydroxide solution is, and that phenolphthalein appears very pale pink between pH 8.3 and 10, and turns pink only when pH reaches 10 or above. And obviously, you are not going to use methyl orange as the indicator in this case, because it appears yellow in distilled water as well as in an alkaline solution. As mentioned just now, a single acid base indicator gives a rough pH range of solutions. To measure specific pH of a substance, we need to use a universal indicator. A pH meter or a data logger with a pH sensor can also be used if more precise pH value is required. A universal indicator contains a mixture of indicators. It can be a paper form or solution form. Universal indicator paper is sometimes called pH paper because it can indicate a wide range of pH by giving gradual changes in color. Universal indicator usually comes with a pH color chart. After testing a substance with the universal indicator, either in paper form or solution form, we compare the color produced with the pH color chart and determine the approximate pH of the substance. Apart from the universal indicator, pH meter or data logger with a pH sensor can measure pH value more accurately. A pH meter is commonly like this. It has a pH electrode connecting to a pH meter with a display screen for pH value. To measure pH of a solution, we do some preparation and get the pH meter ready. Then we simply dip the pH electrode into the solution and read the pH value from the display screen. Data logger with pH sensor is an assembly of apparatus for measuring pH. It consists of a pH sensor which is dipped into solution under test, a data logger which collects pH values and is connected to a computer which represents the pH data. 
This setting allows us to record pH changes over a period, and therefore it is especially useful in monitoring the pH changes during acid alkali titrations. The application of pH measures can be applied in a wide range of areas, including chemistry, biology, engineering, archaeology, geography, and astrobiology. Organisms on Earth live under diverse pH conditions. In this section, we will look into the relationship between pH of water environment and physiological responses of Chinese smitten crabs. pH of water environment influences life processes of Chinese smitten crabs in many aspects. Suitable range of water pH is required for normal developmental processes, such as molting and ovary development. pH stresses can also negatively affect the metabolism as well as immunity in Chinese mitten crabs. Besides, water pH stress downgraded the level of astaxanthin, a pigment molecule responsible for body coloration and having a role in antioxidative activities in Chinese mitten crabs. If you have ever wondered why the shell color of crabs turn red and orange from gray green when they are cooked, it is because of astaxanthin. Astaxanthin accounts for many red colors in nature, including those in some fruits and feathers of some birds. As a significant pigment molecule accounting for coloration of exoskeleton in crabs, as the sunfin in free form absorbs blue and green light and thereby appears red orange in color whereas when exosanfin molecules aggregate and being rubbed by the protein cystocyanin it has a shift on absorption spectrum to the red part and therefore reflect the blue part of the spectrum when crabs are cooked the protein Crystocyanin is denatured by the heat and astaxanthin is released in free form, giving a red-orange color. In Chinese mitten crabs, when pH of the water went up to as high as 9 to 9.5, that is to say the water become more alkaline, the level of astaxanthin in crabs decreased compared to that of pH 7.5 to 8 which is believed to be the optimal pH range for Chinese mitten crabs rearing. Yangsheng Lake in China is well known for its production of Chinese mitten crabs. Yangsheng Lake has an average pH of around 8.21, with generally higher pH at Eastern Lake and lower pH at Western Lake. The water pH at particular sites at Yangsheng Lake was as high as 9.84, it has been believed that the alkaline water in Yangcheng Lake greatly contributed to the flavors and texture of Chinese mitten crabs. However, some aquaculture ponds for Chinese mitten crabs have even higher average pH than that of Yangcheng Lake, resulting in decreased in astaxanthin in the crabs. The various levels of astaxanthin in crabs gave rise to slight differences in coloration of the crab's shell. Some professionals in related industries may be able to distinguish the differences of crab shell color in general between different origins. Since water pH has great importance in growth and development of Chinese mitten crabs, the regulation of water pH becomes particularly important in aquaculture industry. There are a set of factors, both natural and human factors, contributing to pH fluctuations in water. Exit rain is a notorious factor, having an impact of water pH in lakes and ponds. Precipitation, which has a pH at around 5.6 in general, however, is what also one of the factors. The other common factor include molecules such as carbon dioxide contained in the water environment. Carbon dioxide is dissolved in water first, the dissolved carbon dioxide then reacts with water and forms carbonic acid, H2CO3. Carbonic acid is a weak acid. It gives hydrogen ions in two steps as follows, forming hydrogen carbonate ion and carbonate ions. As a weak acid, 
carbonic acid doesn't ionize completely in water, and hence hydrogen carbonate ion is a predominant. As you can see, carbon dioxide content directly influences the pH in water. That gets us to think about photosynthesis and respiration. Since respiration releases carbon dioxide, whereas photosynthesis takes up carbon dioxide, the amount of green plants such as hydrilla in water can have certain effects on water pH. Actually, the high pH measured in some aquaculture ponds for Chinese medicine crabs were due to large amounts of hydrilla in the ponds. However, the optimal pH for most plants is slightly acidic. After all, the water pH in Chinese medicine crabs aquaponics is therefore more about a compromise between the plants, the crabs as well as the bacteria. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. That's all. Bye bye.